Welcome back. Time now 1026 Alzheimer's disease, the holidays and COVID-19. This is an even tougher time of year than normal for caregivers and their patients as well. So how can we create a successful holiday experience for those with dementia? We've got Chris Sortwell, the education and outreach coordinator for the Alzheimer's Association of the Connecticut chapter, joining us right now with some advice. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Definitely appreciate the opportunity to reach out to our community. Yeah, a lot of great information we can get out to people. So let's start with 80,000 people right now living in Connecticut, living with this disease. There are 178,000 caregivers. What's the first thing they need to do to prepare for the holidays? I know it's easier said than done, but the first thing is taking a deep breath. Try to relax and try to reach out to the association or any family and friends to really make sure that you have assistance, especially as a caregiver. You can't do it all alone. You also have to adjust expectations. The holidays might not look exactly like past holidays, but that doesn't mean they still can't be special, passionate, and you know, family all together celebrating. Um, you know, so just adjust those expectations and, and be proactive letting your family and friends know what they might see if they do come over to visit. They may see some different behaviors. They may see your loved one isolate to a room because things get a little bit overwhelming and that's okay. So just simplify your plans, simplify your environment, make sure it's not too overwhelming. And again, reach out to the association if you need any additional tips, tricks or anything like that. That's really good advice there. Now, obviously people who are suffering from dementia, not going to quite grasp exactly what's going on right now in the year 2020. So what's your best advice to keep people with dementia involved in the holidays without overwhelming them, like you just mentioned? Well, everybody living with this disease is going to be on a different level. It's definitely an individualized disease that affects everybody in a, in a different way. So, you know, caregivers are going to know their loved ones better than anyone. So you're going to know what they're capable of doing, and you're going to have to adjust what you're asking them to do. But you still want to keep them involved. You want them to keep utilizing the skills that they have. Try things like having them set the table, hold an ornament for you, sign or just make a mark on holiday cards. Ask them if they want people over. You may assume they want to see a bunch of people, and, and they may not want to, and that's okay. But allow them to help out as much as possible. You really want to make sure they're playing a part in the holiday. Now, how about for people who have had loved ones in a facility? I mean, this has been really tough on them for the past several months, not being able to see them. How do you still make it feel like the holidays, even though they are in that facility? Yeah, that's definitely difficult for families and the individuals living in the facilities. But just, you know, familiar, familiarize <laughs> yourself with the situation um, and, and, and see what kind of special programs or events that the facility might have going on. Don't be afraid to reach out as a caregiver to the facility director and ask them what other families are doing and what has been successful and what has not been successful. Always call ahead, bring photos, bring some gifts, but just make an appearance and, and just show that you're there to support them and that you love them. And that's the best thing that you can possibly do. All right. You guys have that hotline that you just mentioned where people can get all kinds of advice. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about that, what the number is mm -hmm. and uh, what advice people can get from it. Absolutely. So it's one of our best resources that we offer. Um, the hotline is one 800 272 Three nine zero zero, and it's free to everybody out there. Whether you're a professional, a caregiver, somebody who has been recently diagnosed, and again, it's twenty four seven, and you can call for anything, and you will be connected to a clinician that can help you work through behaviors, help you receive resources and supports right in the moment, and then you're also connected with a local resource to your area that will check in with you, and you can have a more personable relationship with as time goes on. That number one more time, 1-800-272-3900. We'll also mm -hmm. put it up on our website, fox61.com. Mm -hmm. Chris Sortwell, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Lots of great advice there. Absolutely. And thank you again for having us. And happy holidays to everyone. Happy holidays.